Welcome to Krishi Hospital. This is Agriculturist SF Ahmed with practical information on experimental design. So sit tight if you are a subscriber and if you are not then subscribe and hit the notification bell because me and my team is going to bring you back to back discussion on problems and solutions related to agriculture and agricultural science. Let's begin. If I try to make a list of experimental design then there would be a lot of them but no worries I have no intention of describing each of those but I will be giving you only insights about the majorly used experimental designs in biological experiments with a particular focus on plant science. Before going to the experimental design part I would like to clear your concept about in vitro, in vivo, uniformity and variability. These are all related to the experimental environment. In vitro and in vivo are Latin terms commonly used in biological science. Many of you are already familiar with these words and already know their meaning but for those who don't know in vitro means within the glass and in vivo means outside the glass. So if I say simply in vitro are those experiments that are done under control condition mostly the experiments that are done in the laboratories like tissue culture, callus culture, cell culture etc. In vivo experiments on the other hand we agriculturists call them as pot experiments, field trials, polyhouse experiment, greenhouse experiments etc. Uniformity and variability are two opposite terms that implies the state of the factors of the experimental environment. Seems very complex right? Let's make it easier. Now let's say we have a piece of plants with 20 plots. Now lands have several factors like soil nutrients, moisture, organic matter etc. Let's consider the moisture and organic matter as our factor. If all the 20 plots are same in organic matter content and moisture content then they are all uniform but if they are not then they have variability. So uniformity means all the experimental environments are same and variability means the opposite. I hope this is easy enough for you to understand. In biological science the most frequently used experimental designs are completely randomized design or CRD, randomized complete block design or RCBD and Latin square design or LSD. Factorial design is also very popular experimental design in agricultural experiments but we will cover it in another video. So stay with us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Completely randomized design will only work when there is uniformity across the experimental environment. Let's consider the same land with 20 plots. If all the environmental factors are same for all the plots then you can choose CRD for your experiment. Normally all the experiments that are done under control conditions or in vitro conditions have a completely randomized design. In vivo experiments like pot experiments, polyhouse experiments, greenhouse experiments can also be designed in CRD. So if you have done your experiments either in laboratory, pots, greenhouse or any other environment where the experimental environment is uniform then your experiment is most likely following CRD. RCBD and LSD are done in vivo or in the field condition where there is variability across the experimental environment. Let's consider the same land again with organic matter and soil moisture as variables. Let's say the organic matter content is uniform but the moisture content drops from 50 to 30 from left to right. So we have a unidirectional variability. In this case we will use RCVD as our experimental design. Now what if we have a bidirectional variability? Let's say the moisture drops from 50 to 30 from left to right but the organic matter content drops from 30 to 10 from top to bottom. In this case we will use LSD as our experimental design. In RCBD the whole land is divided into blocks of equal size and plots are made inside the blocks but in case of LSD square shaped plots are made using the whole land area. Normally in RCBD the plots are rectangular in shape but in case of LSD the plots must be square in shape. So if your experimental environment has variability and your plots are rectangular in shape then you can be pretty much sure that your experiment is following RCBD. But if your plots are square in shape then your experiment is most likely following LSD. 
but be careful when your plots are square in shape and there is unidirectional variability in your experimental environment then your experiment is not likely following LSD it is more likely following RCBD in this case. So, you should not confuse here because LSD is only followed when there is bidirectional variability or more. So, that is all about today's video give the video a like if the info helps you because it shows the appreciation for the insane amount of time that takes to make these videos. Share the video among your friends subscribe to stay on board and I will catch you later.